What's up everyone? It is your boy Victor Freeze and this time we are girlfriend. You're whispering. I'm not whispering. You didn't give me a chance to say anything. You just kept going. You know I can't open my mouth though, why? And today <laughs> we will be doing another relationship time, man. No we because you won't let me talk. No one can hear you. Hit my capture music. So today, we'll be talking about, you see your crush, what you gonna do about it? You know what I'm saying? You see her over there, you eyeing her, peeping her, you know what I'm saying? Y'all may be in the same groups, in high school or college, you know what I'm saying? You, you may see each other around. They can't speak louder. No, I'm just you. So, you know, you, you might see her around, see that curly hair. Like, you know what? Natural hair, best hair. All right. You know what I'm saying? She may, or or maybe that straight hair if you like a uh, newbie and white queens. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, hey, every man likes his thing. I can't blame you for what you like. You know what I'm saying? So you may see old girl. You know what I'm saying? You peeping her, but you like, man, she'll never date a dope like me. These are lies. All right. Girls are just sex hungry, alright? They just want dick, alright? So if you. What? What do you mean that's not true? Anyway. <laughs> well, it's not, but um, most girls, they're not conceited assholes, alright? You know what I'm saying? Now. I've always been told this lie that the worst thing a girl can say is no. That's not true. The worst thing a girl can say is, why the fuck is this Muppet little dick nigga asking me out? And you're like, well, goddamn. I mean, I didn't know it was like this. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know I was a part of this game. But, um, you know, I, I've had, I've had that same problem. Asking girls out. Wait, no, I haven't, because I'm just confident. But this is not the time for me to say how better I am than you. This is me to help. This is my time to help you out. Stop so put not no. Don't do that. <laughs> so what what you what you what you do? What you do is get a new girlfriend first off. <laughs> no, I love you. But what you do is you talk about you talk to yourself. People may think it's crazy. No, you talk to yourself. You you, you have a pep talk. And you're like, you know what? Is this girl really enough to shatter my confidence? If this girl says no to me, will it shatter my confidence to such a degree that I can never ask another girl out? And if the answer is yes, rethink your life. All right? Because there should be no girl on this earth that can shatter your confidence. There can be no girl on this earth that can make you feel any less than a man. That's not how we rock in this household, all right? We deal with dominance and we deal with strength. We, 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 we do things because we know that we can do it. But I understand most people can look at me and be like, you know what, Victor Freeze? I know that you're an awesome mastodon, but what about myself? Well, I wasn't an awesome massive Don all my life. I had to come up through the wings. There's all kinds of trial and error. You see your girl there. Me personally, to get over my fear of asking girls out, I just asked the girls out. Now, I know that sounds stupid as fuck, but it actually worked. I just, I just started asking them out. If they said no, then that's fine. If they said yes, then you're in a seven year relationship. That's just how it goes down. You know what I'm saying? But like if they say no, they just say no and that's what it is. I know that she'll crush you, you'll be heartbroken for a second. But trust me, if you're anything like me in my years, another crush is gonna come walking down that hallway within a week. So you're gonna be fine. You know, you may be like, man, you know, this girl right here, I want this girl. And if you're that type of guy, that's cool. Here's the tips for that. If you really want her, Cause think about it like this, 30 no's and a yes means yes. 
Why? <laughs> Don't shake your head. 30 no's and a yes means yes. So, you know what I'm saying? Don't, don't like stalker, per se. Don't do that. Victor Freeze does not condone these things. I mean, don't rape her either. I, I, would, I would assume my viewers are smart enough to not rape niggas. But, if you are thinking about rape, don't do it. I was about to say something way worse. You saw my face. You know I was about to say something else. But listen, don't stalk her, but just like, maybe press it. Because maybe she's just shy. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe she really doesn't like your ugly ass. That, that can be, that can also be it. But you got to know for certain first. You can't just guesstimate that. So, um, yeah. You go over there. You ask out. You talk to her. Get to know her a little bit better because girls are emotional and they're stupid. They won't understand what you're doing. Why? <laughs> Stop shaking. <laughs> Why? You... Well, um, girlfriend can't talk right now because her jaw is hurting. And I feel sorry for her. You feeling okay over there? But she can't talk right now. But every time I say some, some, some logic, she just shakes her head. And she's like, no, no, Victor. Don't do it. This is for real men. This is real men advice. Not for girls who watch WNBA. That's not for them. Why did I take a shot at them? Anyway, so like, girls are emotional and they're stupid. You talk to them for a little bit, they get a connection. You know what I'm saying? They get a connection, and then they can come to you about all their problems. So let's say they have a man, right? And then when they man fuck up, guess who they gonna come to? The man she was talking all of that stuff to before. Why wouldn't she come to that guy? That guy is you now. So now you're like, man, my man doesn't do this and this. So if you really want her, do this and this. <laughs> See, it, it's a mind game within a mind game. Cause she thought, she thought she had you in the friend zone. She thought you was just a friendy. No, no, no. You tell me all your problems. I'll come into the room. All right, and let's talk about it. And maybe have sex. Listen, this, look. Girls make, guys make stupid decisions, right? We can both agree on that. And girls make emotionally stupid decisions. Because they'll fuck you and then be like, oh, why they fuck you? Well, it's too late. I already smashed. I still hit, though. So like, no matter what you say after that, just, but if you want to be with her. Because that's kind of the grimy way of doing it. You know what I'm saying? The grimy way is like, you know, you, you befriend her and then like she tells you all your problems and then you smash and then you go from there. The real way of doing it, because the friend zone isn't all that bad. If, if you just want to like get to know her, because like if you're if you're not going for lust, if you're not lusting over this girl, then the friend zone's cool. Here's why: friend zone's cool is because you will realize how clearly you think when you're not trying to get your dick wet. You, you will think so clearly. Well, you could just go into a situation, right? And know that there's no sexual encounters going on. You'll think clearly. Because now you can see her for what she really is. Because she's not putting on a front. Because, you know, y'all might be boyfriend and girlfriend. Or y'all just talking and she like you, so she got to put on this front. So she's not, that's not who she really is. You know? But, like, if, if y'all are just friends... Why the fuck she got? Why she? Why she got a fake in front of you? I'm just chilling. That's a comfortable environment. So now you can see what she really is like. So you can now know. Okay, is this? The, is this? Should I pursue this person? Because this is actually the real her. Seeing her in the hallway or at your desk or like or like at the bar, she could just put on a lot of makeup that day. But if y'all are cool and you want to get to know her personality, and now you see her in a different light because you're not trying to fuck her then it's like wait you're actually fucking cool and now she and if she has that same energy she thinks you fucking cool now come into the room okay maybe that's a little fast but you gotta build up to come into the room like Okay, babe, hold, hold up how many fingers for how many months it would take to get you into the room if you saw someone at your job and then y'all were friends. It's 12 months? 
It took a whole year to get you into the room? Yeah, just jump to another girl at that point. Oh, what? 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 12 months? I ain't got time for that shit. But if you, if, you, if you really have a vested interest in her, 12 months is fine. Because I was, I was going to wait that long to have sex with, you know, uh, one of my girlfriends. Wait, one of them. That was you. Shit. But, um, if you really want to get to know her, that's the road right there. You like, hey, you know, let's be friends. Y'all talk it out. Now, I know most of y'all be like, yo, aren't you always supposed to be friends with people you date? No. Sometimes it just happens. Like, sometimes you see someone, right? She sees you, and that's just how it is, right? But other times, it's like, hey, maybe we got to go the friend zone route. Maybe she got to get through this other ain't shit, nigga, before she get to you. All right? I mean, but listen, it's too late now. I already hit. It's already hit now. So, like, now once you figure out I'm the ain't shit, nigga, that just means you, you have a bad string of luck, and I, I wish the best for you. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like if you if you have a vested interest, you'll wait as long as you can. Trying to get your dick wet? Go the grimy route. Do grimy things. I have done grimy things for the for the for the for the fucking promise of vagina. I have done horrific things. I have snitched on my best well not my best friend. I have snitched on my associates before. That's just how it is. If you're grimy, all right? If you're like, hey, listen, you know, he might be cheating, though, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Now, remember who told you to come over this way, you know, we could talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Now, come into the room, and we'll talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Let me close this door real quick. Because I got to emphasize you coming into the room. Because that's a big part of this, this relationship we're having. If you're going the grimy way. If you're going the good... God fearing way, boo. Then, <laughs> boo. Then, you will be friends with her. You'll get to know this person so you will know that this is the one for you at this moment in your life. And if, she, if she's the one for you, she'll know that and she'll respect that. And she'll come over, you know what I'm saying? And she'll start talking to you. And y'all be straight. But, a major key is getting to know the person that you're about to date. Unless you're just trying to fuck her, then do grimy things. But if you're trying to get to know her, you know, most girls have already heard the generic questions. You know? Hey, so, you know, what, what's your favorite color? You know, what's your favorite animal? Boo! No! Go out there. Talk about some shit that's uncomfortable to talk about sometimes. See how she reacts. Because if you're going to date her, you're going to talk about this shit anyway. So you might as well see how she reacts now. You know? See, see how she takes to these questions. Hey, so what do you think about aliens, man? Just throw shit out there. Throw some stupid shit out there. What do you think about jellyfish or some shit? What's global warming? What's that? Thoughts? <laughs> Earth flat? How big's your cup size? Listen, you got to ask these questions before you get down to the nitty gritty. I have asked girlfriend these questions even before we started dating. And I was like, listen, double Ds? They were like, they were like Cs. But look, it's okay. Like, I would just say stupid shit. See how she react. Seven years later, here we are. So I think it works out. So like, but like the whole so, like, what's your favorite animal? Hey, what's your zodiac sign? Boo! You need to ask questions that intrigue the mind. Huh? Boo! <laughs> you only get stars. I'm trying to look at. I'm trying to get some punan. What we gotta look at stars for? But uh, I know this was a short episode this time, but next time is the finale for Tekken 7. I got some wild shit coming. You saw I got that savior ring? That mean Overlord's next. Gimbu's next. Never been to Gimbu before. Let's see if I get it. It's Victor fucking Freeze, and I'll see y'all next time.